Sairam everyone. Uh, just to recollect what we were discussing last week, Swami has introduced uh, the topic of Daivi Sampati and Asuri Sampati. And I think we, to some extent we discussed quite a bit about um, Arjuna asking questions and so on. And uh, because Daivi Sampati is one who realizes that one is the Atman, the Rasuri Sampati. She is the world as it is. And just a rough, I, that was a rough summary of what we were discussing. So I will stop here and we can continue from where we left off. Silence. As soon as the Lord finished saying this, Arjuna raised his head in astonishment and said, Gopala, you are declaring so far that the Atma is the basis for all characteristics and for all beings. That is to say, you were declaring that you were the basis. Meanwhile, you have started talking about two distinct natures, Daivi Sampati, divine qualities, and Asuri Sampati, devilish qualities. I am getting confused. I am at a loss to decide which to accept and which to reject. Arjuna, your question is even stranger. You say that I never speak a word that has no meaning or do a deed that has no significance. Yet you worry over the problem which among my statements you have to accept and which you have to reject. This is senseless anxiety and hesitation. My dear brother-in-law, the devas and the asuras are not two separate distinct groups. They are so divided on the basis of the distinction in characteristics. Well, the characteristics of gunas are artificial. They are not of the essence of consciousness. I have already told you about them. The potter makes pots, pans, and plates. The latter are not essentially parts of the clay out of which they were shaped. The pot, pan, and plate are artificial forms of the clay. The names too are artificial. These names and forms are the gunas or characteristics. The substance or adhara or basis is clay. The shapes, names, forms, the manifestation, the expressions are pots, pans, and plates. Clay is natural. Pots, pans, and plates are artificial. Take it that the clay, the basis, the sahaja, is my swarupa, reality. In the names, forms, the expressions, the pots, etc., are not in me, but I am in them. I have no gunas, but I am in the gunas. Note this. Therefore, do not try to keep clay and pot apart as two distinct entities. That cannot be correct. It is not possible either. Thank you, Guru. Uh, maybe we will read the I think I think we were discussing it this so much uh, in case uh, last week. We'll continue. I think Vanti, shall we read the Telugu? Yeah, sure. Sairam. Paramat Mudu Adi Telip Telipina Takshana may Saudhanamuga Minuchuna Arjunudu. Ascheri Muga Talete, Gopala, Intavruku, Sarba Sobha Muluku, Sarba Jeevuluku, Atmae Adharamu, and it nudivitri. Okay. That uh, before that line, you know, when he is explaining Asuri Sampati and Daivi uh, Sampati, Ani Paramat Muda Telepina Takshana may. So, so that was, I think we read it last week, no, Auntie? Uh, I think. Maybe not. Anyway, anyway. 
No, I think, just, why don't we, auntie, we will just backtrack a little. We can, itti satya munu telisikona goru. Ah, akanich, akanich. That we read. Yeah. We can read from there, auntie. Ah. Itti satya munu telisikona goru bhava mulane daiva sampatti anniyo. Taliya kapoi nanu, taliyasi natlu vaadhin chuchu. Taliyasi konutaku prayatni nchaka. Asatyamani, Satyamani, Stiramu Chaya Stiti Galavari Bhavavannu Asura Sampatyanu Andaru. The previous sentence says that. So, Krishna is telling, people who have uh, Daivi Sampatthi, that is divine nature, or who, have, uh, uh, who are possessed of the divine wealth, they are those who want to always find out the truth. Um, but the ones who think that they know it all, even though they do not know, and they do not make any effort to find out, who delude themselves thinking that the untruth is the real truth and that is permanent, such people, uh, you know, they are who, are, uh, who have demonic tendencies. That's what Krishna is saying. As soon as he finished saying that, Ketlu, Rendu Amsaromolo Kalavo, and the Paramat Mudalipin Takshaname, Saudan Muga Vinichun Arjunudo, Ascheri Muga Taleti Gopala, Intavarku, Sarba Swaba Mulaku, Sarba Jivalaku, Atme, and the Adharamani Nudivitri. So Arjuna, who was listening intently, uh, patiently, he, with surprise, he looks up and tells Krishna, Oh Gopala, all this time you were saying for all the uh, all the living beings, you are the support, basis. That's what you have been telling this, telling me all this time. Yeah. Antalo ne daiva sampatti, asura sampatti ne rendo amshavalo kalavani telupu chunnaru. Then now you are saying, that even those which are being supported by you, in, that's implied, I guess. He says, how can there be two qualities, one demonic and one uh, the, the divine? Na came you aguta ledu. I, I just can't understand. I can't understand anything. That's what Arjuna says. <laughs> what I should believe and what I should not believe, I will give up. I cannot understand. I cannot make out. Tamaru, Arthamuleni Matakani, Satimukani, the Anarini, Nakusampurna Vishwasam. I have total faith that you will not say anything which is untrue or whatever is useless. Kana, yeah, I have got Sampurna Vishwasam. I have full faith in it. I have complete faith in you. Okay. Kana Intalo Yedio Yedio Gudarta Mucheri Unduno. Lekuna Tamaratu Chapinavar Chapedi Varukaru. So there must be something hidden in what you are saying, because you will not be saying something uh, without meaning. Na Manasu Mamakara Manu Malimache Kappa Badi Undutache. Na Manasu. My, my mind with a sense of my mindness. It is full of malinium. It is. So, Auntie, uh, what, what do you. You said ma manasu? Na manasu. Na manasu. Okay, my here, mind. actually, the version I have says manava manasu. That's why I was oh, a bit. Confused. Oh, okay, okay. Manava manasu, mamakara manu. Malli manu up. So, because human, um, I, I, auntie, what auntie said was, my mind is, uh, has the quality of mindness. Ah, mamakaram. And that is the blemish it has. Because of that. Because of that, to understand your words is very, very difficult. Vertapu Samshay Muluto na Jivitamo Nirattakam Chesikunukunda Dai Chesi Artamugunatlu Atli Dai 
సారీ ఇట్స్ ఎ లాంగ్ సెన్సెస్ వ్యర్థపు సంశయములతో నా జీవితమును నిరర్థము చేసి కొనకుండా సో వితౌట్ వేస్టింగ్ మై లైఫ్ త్రూ యూస్లెస్ డౌట్స్ దయచేసి అర్థముగునట్లు అట్టి దైవాసులు ఎవరో ప్లీజ్ హ్యావ్ కంపాషన్ ఆన్ మీ అండ్ in a in a manner in which i can understand mm. these divine uh, divine who are the divine people and who are the asuras daivasuru daiva who, who is daiva and who is divine and who is demonic whoever who they are evaru ye sthitilo praveshinturo who 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 is in which state who is who has entered in uh, entered which state వారి స్వభావములు ఎట్టివో సెలవించు వాట్ ఆర్ దియర్ వాట్ ఇస్ దియర్ రియల్ నేచర్ ప్లీజ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ టు మీ అనే అర్థం చెప్పు బావా అర్జున ఓ వి హవ్ టు కంటిన్యూ నౌ yes aunty బావా అర్జున నీ ప్రశ్న మరింత విచిత్రముగా ఉన్నది so now krishna is answering oh my brother in law arjuna your question is much more strange అర్థములేని పని చేయనియు దట్ ఐ డోంట్ డూ ఎనీ వర్క్ విచ్ ఇస్ మీనింగ్ లెస్ మీనింగ్ లెస్ సత్యము కాని మాట ఆడననియు దట్ ఐ విల్ నాట్ సే ఎనీథింగ్ విచ్ ఇస్ అంట్రూ నీవే తెలిపితివి యు యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ సెడ్ తిరిగి ఏది నమ్మవలను ఏది విడవలను తెలియకున్నదని విసుకు పడుచున్నావు దెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ యు ఆర్ సేయింగ్ దట్ యు కెనాట్ you really don't know what to believe and what to give up um, and you do uh, unable to understand that and you are uh, disgusted is it is disgusted aren't you visugu disgusted visugu padichu disgusted yeah. you are being disgusted yes paapam idi entayo artham kaani andolaneye kaani veru kaadu poor fellow you know <laughs> all this is only andolana it's a what is andolana aunty andolana ne ide actually revolution anarde it is it does not apply here your manas is going round and round so swami you are basically re, uh, rebelling uh, your mind is rebelling i'm rebelling against what i said against, yeah, against what i have said that you know it's trying to counter it yeah baba దైవాసులను వారు ఇరువురు ప్రత్యేకము లేరు ఓ మై మై బ్రదర్ ఇన్ లో దేవ ద డివైన్ డివైన్ బీయింగ్స్ అండ్ డెమోనిక్ బీయింగ్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ టు కైండ్ టు కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ గుణభేదముల అనుసరించి వారిని రెండు అంశములుగా చిల్పబడ చిల్పడమైనది గుణములు కల్పనములు qualities are imagined or thought imagine veetine gurinchi deeniki puru me telpi unnanu i have already spoken about this earlier kumari kundalu kujalu pramidalu matti tho cheyinchunnadu a potter makes pots uh, uh, water jug jugs water jugs water jugs pujas jugs pramidam and plates he diya. makes with the clay pramidane diya tane pramidana lamp ah la illa the cook velaketram velak ama i know what type pramitalu that's why i said just plate yeah it's i can a... saw it you know when we light the uh, during deepavali we have that muddy small small uh, containers where we put oil and then we light the lamps it's called pramat pramida 
Pramida, it's called. A small fan. Kutti Vilak. Kutti Vilak. Kutti Vilak. Kutti Vilak. Kutti Vilak. Mannu, Mannu Vilak. Mannu Vilak. Mannu Vilak. Mannu Vilak. Kutti Vilak. Mannu Vilak. Mannu Vilak. Mannu Vilak. Mannu Vilak. containers <laughs> ఆ చేయబడిన పాత్రలో పూర్వము మట్టితో మట్టిలో సహజ సిద్ధముగా లేవు సో దీస్ దీస్ వెసల్స్ అండ్ విచ్ ఆర్ విచ్ ఆర్ మేడ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఇన్ క్లే ఇన్ అ నేచురల్ ఫామ్ సహజము మట్టి వాట్ ఇస్ నేచురల్ ఇస్ క్లే కుండ కూజలు ప్రమిదలు కల్పన రూపములు దిస్ పార్ట్స్ అండ్ యు నో ద jugs and all that they are all which are made imagined kalpanayaina roopa namurane gunamulane andaru whatever is imagined that in the mind they are called uh, forms uh, names and forms roopa nama names and forms they are the name, they are the name and form okay gunamulane andaru they are called gunas aadharamu matti కల్పనలుజమునా my real form is natural kundalu nalo levu kani the pots are not in me but kundalu lo nenu unnanu but i am in the pots anaga nalo gunamulu levu kani that means there are no gunas in me there are no qualities in me gunamula indu kudunu nenu unnanu but even in those qualities i am present ఇంటర్ట్వైనింగ్ ఆఫ్ పరమాత్మ విత్ జీవాత్మ యూనో ఇన్ అవర్ బాడీ is swami is trying to explain uh that the atma is the basis okay i'll stop here everyone would like to share any uh, thoughts of yours yes hey mango can i just clarify uh, one or two lines of the translation yes please um the one the line where it says what is natural is clay pots jugs and lamps are all forms of imagination yes and then the next part whatever is imagined in the mind they are called names and forms yes the names and forms are what what is imagined by the mind or what is see swami has used the word kalpana it can be what is perceived by the mind you can say okay and then okay. what kalpana imagine means you know we will think something else but it's but what the mind perceives is kalpana i would say i don't know how you want to put it okay. Kalp- kalpana is visualization perceive perception all that is the whatever the mind's activity that's kalpana okay so what the mind perceives is rupa nama guna yeah those three rupa nama mulane guna mani andru they are called the name and form are called gunas okay so the names and forms are the gunas yes yes another name for the name and form is guna you can see okay synonymous so whatever is perceived or visualized by the mind that is the gunas which are called names and forms 
Yeah, I think we had discussed this sometime back also, I think, because Swami says the, in the creation there is asti bhati priyam nama rupa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Brahman is only asti bhati priyam. Mm -hmm. Satchidam. Nama, nama rupa is prapanch. Word. Ah, nama rupa is the creation, prapanch. So which is what Swami is saying, but that nama rupa is what the mind perceives. That's a superimposition. Yes. Saram, brother. So the Nama Rupa, I know, is a characteristic or whatever the mind per se. But we are born in the world, but we have to take the Nama Rupa uh, to attain or merge with the Lord. That's the one we use it, right? I know. It is. Now, we are again going back to using it. Yeah, using, using, using it. No, you, when, you, when you give them up, you see the Satchitananda. Yeah, at the end you will see. But to uh, attain, because now we are born in the world, right? So we are seeing all these characteristics and everything, right? We, are, we, are, uh, we didn't realize the Atma, I am God kind of, I didn't realize, oh, I'm not seeing. So those are blocked with the characteristics. Am I right? So we are yeah, using so, so, so they are blocked. They are blocking. They are blocked. They are blocked. So not due to them, you won't see. They are hurdles but, in the but, process. Uh, yeah, but later the Namasparana, Swami's Rupa is all what we perceive in our mind, right? But we are using that. It's a sister. It's a sailing, uh, like a, it's, it's kind see. of. So the thing is, I think we have had this discussion before, So, but what I will say is, see, you have a thorn in your flesh. A thorn has, you know, you have... Yeah, born in the world is that we are here. So, so to remove the thorn, you need another thorn. Yeah. Okay. You can't say the thorn which, has prick, which is in my foot, that is causing me to remove the thorn. No. To remove the thorn which is already in your feet, you need another thorn. That okay. is a Nama Rupa. Ah, nama, that's a Nama Smarana. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. We take it that to do it because, because something is, we are not right we to merge with the Lord, only we born back to the world. Right? <laughs> we are here. We are in the world now. <laughs> But you see, but Swami... in the previous paragraph, says, Swami said, when you don't, uh, how you, uh, if you think the world is what you see, uh, if you don't see Atma, then you are not seeing the world properly, kind of. That also we learn. But where we are at the state, I'm just thinking. Yes, yes, which is true. But that's what Swami is trying to explain. Mm -hmm. Taking the side up. Taking the example of the thorn which is pricked your foot, you are taking another thorn to remove it. But are you going to keep that thorn which struck, uh, which uh, pricked you? No. You are going to throw both of them. Yeah, the thorn that we are using is the name and the form. Later I, when we merge, it's, it's thrown. That's it's gone, right? If name and form, you have to go beyond that. Yeah, beyond you that. Go beyond that, that transcend that term, name and form, then see that Satchidananda. I, I think, auntie, I think the problem is when we say name and form, everyone thinks Swami's name and form. Oh. Sister, what is happening is this creation is name and form with which we are all so busy. Mm -hmm. To overcome the name and form, which that is name and form in this world, creation. Okay. To remove that creation from us, you need God also in the form of a name. God also you need in the form of a form. Oh. With those two, you can get rid of all the names and forms which are holding you back. That is a good idea. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. That is the same thing. Okay. That is so another that, thorn to remove all other thorns. All Come these on. thorns. Yes. All the thorns can be removed by that one thorn. But that is also a thorn. I think that's why Kalyani will say, okay, Vidya Maya. <laughs> we discuss this Avidya Maya and Vidya. That's why I'm the Avidya Maya is not letting us go, so we need the Vidya Maya. But both are Maya. No. Okay. 
so the name and form of god is the vidya maya which will help us remove all the other thorns all the other names and forms okay but we should not think that all the other names and forms are helping us i think we we discussed that last time okay the whole creation is only name and form whole creation what you are perceiving in the world manifestation everything has got a name everything has a form but the, that's why adheya swami is using the same word adheya adhara adhara is atman it's the basis we have put names and forms on the superimposed upon that atman and that we are thinking this is the only reality reality is much much deeper but we have to get rid of these names and forms Sairam, maybe the confusion for me, the the characteristics of gunas are artificial. I I thoroughly understand the natural part. Clay is the natural, but the pots and pans and the plates, you know, they they they. Uh, Swami has taken these as an example. These are artificial. Maybe our our understanding of artificial things, you know, they maybe. uh uh in the in the real world if the pots and pans and we don't say these are artificial we always think our perception in the uh, it could be wrong in the but uh, we always think the those are natural thing or those are the real things maybe in this word if i put the, the characteristics of gunas or maya then maybe in the i easily understand in the with the vitya maya and the avitya maya and the disa you know the it's 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 like a passing clouds it would be time to time it would take different form or it will change it wouldn't be permanent it would be impermanent you know every stage or every moment it would it would make a different form and you know, it would change kind of you know the, the after Uh, the explanation of you know, the 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 uh, vitya maya and the avitya maya even the golden tone if we need to you know, the uh, uh, pull it out the other tone the you know, the, the the that that made me understand more clearly and i thought maybe that the word artificial maybe you know, the, yeah. it's it's like a little confusion you know the, the, the. yes arun i think the word kalpana has been translated as artificial which is I not think. correct it, it, it's it should... an artificial it's an artificial translation and <laughs> what are it is artificial is not the word to use i know i know that's why kalpana, i was thinking kalpana means your own perception you can call or um, mental perception mental perception yeah. that's or imagination out of clay you are making a Um, a kuja or a water jug or a pot it is you, your own um, your own what can say what can i say your own creativity uh, creativity yeah creativity that can be the word yes you are creative kalpana is not imagination that is i've got a me another meaning also kalpana is also imagination another But meaning everything in, yeah all creative issues start with imagination system yeah, yeah, yeah. so the imagination starts it's it's also but here especially when uh, the names to or artificial when we say it confuses i understand hmm. yeah. we have fabricated these things out of the clay you know which which is our own imagined creations creativity is best best way creativity yes yeah so the now now it's much more clear in the after we discuss in the, the originally in, the, in this passage that the word is stuck me you know the the why the the why swami says they, they are artificial in the yes Thank uh, you. that's yes sister that's right i you i didn't realize that i think brother varadhan has been unmuting so maybe you want to say yeah, something because, because when this you uh, like you know pots or pans everything they whenever they broke and then they we call the common name like uh, odu or you know pink or something like that right yeah manna the same clay it turns into clay 
Yeah, it yeah. goes back to the, the basic, like it uh, goes back to the same, right? Like a... Yes. Original it was, it was clay first, it became a part, and then part is broken, it goes back to its original yeah. form. But again, it becomes clay. That, that is the base. Yeah. Yes, Clay. Brother Tarsan. Uh, uh, Sairam, brother, I like to add some more points regarding this part. Because if, the, if you take any names or, or any object, it's subject to change. But the, uh, we forget the base, the Adara, is Atma. That is the uh, same thing. Same thing if we take the clay, we can make out of that one as a murti, that God. But the, uh, and we can make out so many things from the clay. But the people look at the name and the form, but they forget the base, the clay. Same thing if you take any uh, any items in the in the prakriti, the atma is the base, and other things supposed to uh, is not permanent. Thank you, Saira. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yes, Kalyani. Um, just one other line, the one where idi yantayu ardhamu kani andol that one andolane. Yes. Yeah. So, so these are. Arthamugani means without any meaning, meaningless rebellion, meaning of revolution, meaningless revolution. Antolan means somebody who is opposing something. So the mind, mind which is you know, opposing and, you know, uh, what to say, rebelling against some ideas, you know, that kind of a meaning. Okay. Sorry, auntie. I will ask auntie to... Sorry. Yeah, Andolana. What we call in in the mind, you know, you get confused. Uh, your mind is going round and round whether to it's to believe it or not. That's kind of a feeling when you get. It's called aldo andolana. You can even say opposition, Kalyani. It's yeah. a meaningless opposition, also you can say. Meaningless opposition, Actually, the meaning andolana is revolution. Re revolution. Rebellion. Rebellion. Revolu revolution. And Arjuna is feeling disgusted or something? So Krishna is telling that, you know, in this case, Krishna is telling, Idi Antayu Ardhamukha. So Krishna is telling that uh, we, we'll go back to Swami says, Arjuna, ni prashna marinta vichitrama. Your question is so strange. Ardhamuleni pani chai, you know, you are saying that, you know, I don't say, I don't do anything meaningless. I don't say anything which is untrue. You are saying that. Then, uh, thereafter, you are saying, what, uh, can, what can I believe? What can I not believe? Okay. And then you are getting disgusted with that. You know, you are disappointed. Mm. Okay. Because your mind is basically, So, you know, whatever you are doing is meaningless, you know, rebellion, or, rebel, you know, you are rebelling against what I am saying, because you can't accept it. But, but in English, Arun, this yeah. is senseless anxiety and hesitation. That's why right. they, they have, <laughs> yeah, they have, they have, they have, they have uh, translated like that. Senseless anxiety. Generally, so, the word andolanam is used for revolutions. You know, when there's rebellion, mm -hmm. that is uh, andolanam. Mind, when sometimes it doesn't accept things, you know, it rebels against mm -hmm. uh, against uh, some some statement done mm -hmm. by others you, you know you you don't you get, you get upset simple thing is upset so like when we do come across something that maybe at our you know our mind doesn't yet understand we might think that it's contradictory yeah uh, exactly then so I'm saying, I guess we shouldn't be uh, trying to rebel against it. Is that right? Like, what should be the approach? I guess. If... So see, Swami says it's a meaningless rebellion. So that means, you know, on one side you are saying you are everything, and then you are saying, you know, I can't trust you. Then he says, what type of revelation is that? You know, one one side you say you are, you won't say it. now, but then your mind is rebelling and saying, no, it may be. He is not talking untruth. You know, he, he cannot be believed. Mm. You know, so that means Swami says it's a you are 
it's like you know children parents they know their parents love but when the parents say something the child can't believe it they will rebel because whatever they want they want to do they will say you are not being supportive or something like that mm. uh, so that kind of a thing i think that's what i understand yeah yeah so so brother sign up so okay maybe i'm in the arjuna state as well now all of us i think sister <laughs> he's I mean, saying you have promoted yourself to arjuna status so. <laughs> no 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 just for the sake of saying so <laughs> what i'm hearing and learn atma is the basis for all characteristics right there is no devas or asuras they are not two separate distinct groups uh, it's all only the gunas are only our myth or you know which we have created in our mind or imagination so our lord sai krishna who is preparing against whom then he is on the good quality like on the deva he doesn't have quality he doesn't have but he's preparing arjun to fight against wrong unrighteousness so there is they should not be righteous and righteous that's all imagination do you you know what i'm saying that he so is this is another of... arjuna actually this is another arjuna and another andolana <laughs> 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 so what sister is telling is okay arjuna is telling krishna is telling all these good things then why does he want arjuna to fight and against what against who because against there is no righteousness yeah. there is no unrighteousness am i right sister yeah i mean that's what i my interpretation of See, what we are so, discussing have discussed so what, so what he is so, preparing him for so it is natural uh, for the daivi sampat daivi sampatti people to fight against asuri sampatti people that's natural <laughs> but the thing is because what they both of them are doing is the same thing which is one thorn taking out the other thorn mm. okay that's all uh, and can yeah. i add yes sir they, please go ahead i please go ahead. they are so divided on the basis of the distinctions in characteristics that line is there they are di divided you make the distinction between asuri sampat and daivi sampat on the basis of the distinctions in their characters though atma is same in them but mm. they have different characteristics that's why mm. there's unrighteousness and righteousness on one side that's why arjuna is uh, prompted by i mean krishna is asking him to fight against unrighteousness so but uh, aunty mm -hmm. so he so her thing is who is fighting against whom and who is telling whom to fight mm. and should they really fight <laughs> we are going back regressing further further to mahabharata no, okay. <laughs> so sister shivani am i right sister yes 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 very true see sister arjuna was telling arjuna is being told by krishna to fight not because he is opposed to the kauravas no mm, yeah he okay. says we had to bring about balance see balance is bringing about the ability to real, realize god okay to make things conducive he is asking arjuna to do that mm. okay so if there is some uh, unevenness you basically if you had even it you had even it so the thing is the asuri people the asuri qualities have to be removed so that you can experience the divinity mm. that so that's the purpose so the thing is to make both of them whole krishna is asking him to fight mm. see arjuna also has to overcome something the pan adhuri or the kaurava sorcerer have to overcome something so the whole the war is both sides uh, get to the place where they should be mm. and in reality which is not no no reality 
in the past we have learned uh, so good and bad basically within us so we are trying to balance we are basically fighting within ourselves with all those gunas right yes removing the bad with our good yeah. quality yeah. thank you okay auntie sakku has been patiently waiting so yeah yeah <clears throat> before she gets uh, visu to put to put to thing in this paragraph we are, which we are discussing there is a sentence they are not of the essence of consciousness that means they are not brahman is that is it right or they are not of the essence of consciousness i have already told you created <clears throat> The characteristics of gunas are created, cre creativity. Mm -hmm. They are not the essence of consciousness. Once, what does it mean? That line is there in the middle. Middle, auntie? Uh, they are so divided on the basis of distinction in characteristics. Well, the characteristics of gunas are artificial. They are not of the essence of consciousness. I told you about them. You got the line, Arun? Yes, Andy, I got to. So, Swami say, Guna Veda Mula Nanasarinchi Varani Rendu Amsa Mulaga Chilachin. Okay, that's the one. Yeah, After it's that, Swami says, Guna Mula Guna Mulu Kalpanalu. Yeah. So, whatever Gunas we see are our mental perception. Mental creativity, yeah. Okay, yeah. mental perception. They are not of the essence of consciousness. Next line. Does it refer to a Brahman? No, Swami, that, I think so, once Swami has just said that, after that, Swami has not said anything. S Swami says, Guna Mulu Kalpanulu. All the Gunas are imagined. Mental, mental, yeah. Imagined. Yeah. But, but the, the rest is actually additional Gunas in the translation. Oh, so that sentence is not there? Yeah, not no. the sense of consciousness. That's, no, that's not there. Swami, Krishna is telling me, I have already spoken to you about this before. That's, that's all he said. That's Essence of uh, consciousness, actually. The characteristics of the Guru, they, they, they are not the essence of consciousness. That is not the essence of the Telugu. Telugu, <laughs> Okay, Saira Manti, I hope that's okay. You, 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 they, your text doesn't have? They are not of the essence of consciousness, should be stricken. Stricken, okay. Okay. I have already told you about them. That's all, Swap Krishna, I say. Yeah. That sentence, yes. Sir. They are not of the essence of consciousness, it does not there. In what the Telugu. Being consciousness here. Pardon? What the translation has is referring to maybe gunas are artificial, he says. And he says it is uh, not the essence of consciousness is pure. Auntie, because, because I will not agree with this because hmm. Swami is saying in the gunas I am present. But the gunas are not present in me, which is later on. Yeah. Which is, yeah. yeah. So the Lord is present even in the gunas. Gunas. That's yeah. the essence. That's the essence. The essence of the gunas are also the Atman. But so in the Atman, there are no gunas. But uh, he is very much present in the, the, yes. in the Lord gunas. Is present in the gunas yes. Just the way the Lord is present in us. Yeah. Ah, so it, what is our true essence? It is the essence of our essence is Atman. See, Brother Dasan has come right away. Come, Brother yes, Atman. Karam, brother. So if I take myself and yourself, the gunas are different. The karma, crow, the loba, the main, most of uh, those ones are different. But the base, the Atma is same. So that's the thing is artificial. But so why are you saying they are not? We always thought, brother, we are not different. No, we are not different. But, but the gunas are different. Your form, 
different, your name is different, but it's all temporary. Yeah. But yes. Atma is same. Thank you, Brother Sairam. Thank you, Brother. Yes, Auntie Sakur. Yeah, if our Atma is same, why is he saying they are not the essence of consciousness? Yes, yeah, that's why yeah, that sentence is, I don't know. But it's not necessary. Okay, so we can just remove it. Yeah. Yes, draw a line through those words. Um, so is it is the approach that Arjuna had when he's asking this question, is that like the ideal approach? Because he's saying that he's confused, but he's saying that there must be something hidden in what you are saying, and I'm not able to understand it because of my mamakara. And he he's just praying for, for Krishna to tell him in a way he can understand. Is that kind of an ideal approach when we're... Yes, yes, that's an a, a approach, I think. That's my understanding, Kalyan. Anyone else would like to say, based on what Krishna, Arjuna's question and what Krishna's response is? Uh, Ultimately, it is only a surrender to the Lord. That's all. Where we cannot find out an answer for our, these questions, he is the only one who can clarify. Mm -hmm. See, ultimately, Mamakara also is, we are narrowing down, we are making distinctions. Okay, the Lord sees the whole thing as one whole. So what actually he is trying to remove from us is the, our th tendency to separate things. Mm. See, because all the gunas are invoked by the Lord only. Without him, the gunas themselves don't come into play. But the thing is, if you look at one guna separated from the other guna, that means you are putting barriers between limitations. Mm. So the whole exercise of the Lord is to remove the barriers and the separations uh, which we see that all that is only because we do not identify with Atman. Once we identify with Atman, we will not think we are separate, we are different. So I think Arjuna, that's why he is, Arjuna himself is telling because as soon as you say mamakara, that means you have limited yourself. So the answer is itself is contained in Arjuna's question. I don't know whether I have answered your question. <laughs> yes. So as long as like you are identifying with the name and form, like you are the pot or the plate, then you still have the right and wrong and you still have your duty and what needs to be done. Yes. Which is, was, which is what Sister Aruna was telling. We are now in the name and form. Uh, it's going to help us. Thinking that the part. No, but if you want to remain the part, remain a part always, then it's different. But if you want to become clay, then we have to do something. We have to break the pot. Yes, we have to break the pot. We have to break the pot. That is the hardest part. And grind it nicely and make it clay. Not to old. Old is not that. Old is intermediate stage. That's what Brother Varadhan was saying. Varadhan was saying. Intermediate stage, then you take it to, you know, this composite, you know, they say, you know, if you go this, they grind all this material and make them powder. I guess Arjuna's confusion is when everything, if, if you, God, is the basis of everything, then um, how can there be this divine and the asuri? The, yeah. I mean, then shouldn't everything be divine if the basis is divine? Yes, yeah, so but what, what Krishna is telling is, you are divine, but you are unable to perceive it. See, that's why he says kalpana. You know, it's only because that's the way you're perceiving it. So, because once you perceive, he's only asking you to remove the perception, superimposition, which is based on some limitations, which was the same question Sister Shivani also has had.
I think Aunt Saku has again raised her hand, but Dasan is eternally keeping the hand up. <laughs> Sai Ram, My, yes. I need some clarity on this point. You know, the pots, uh, the clay is being uh, created into pots, pans, and plates. And then when you break them and they become, go back to clay. This procedure, getting back to clay means going back to the basis. So is that the liberation state? Which pot is auntie? Uh -huh. Is it the physical pot or the mental pot? No, the mentally you created pots and pans and plates, right? Then when it is bro broken, it goes back to the clay state, right? Yes, Santi. So clay state is uh, Parabrahma state, right? Yes. So I'm asking, is that it's that does it refer to liberation? Soul goes back to the original uh, basis. Actually, this can be uh, taken as an analogy of creation. Uh, sustenance and dissolution. Okay, the original thing which uh, with which God created is that clay, same yeah. thing. It's coming from him only. There yeah. is no extra thing which with which he has made this creation. It's yeah. coming from him only. His own crea creation. Then the world is created and then at last it has to go to, through the pralaya, dissolution. And when dissolution takes place, it goes back to to its source, from where it has come. That can be taken in that analogy also. So everybody is um, um, liberated when dissolution takes place. <laughs> the whole. So auntie, then people have asked the next question, should we wait till the pralaya? So. <laughs> Some people can get liberated only uh, uh, that Jivan Mukta also. Jivan Mukta gets liberation immediately when, when he uh, realizes that he is Atman. There are some people like that and some people who just have to go through the whole life of circle of birth and death, birth and death and at last they have to realize fr from where they have come and then they go back to that origin. So auntie, so the answer from what Mani auntie has given, auntie Saku, yeah. Is that as soon as you realize, see the pot as clay, mm -hmm. you are liberated. <laughs> as, yeah. While alive. That's why that's why she the, said Jeevan Mukti. Exactly. While the pot is alive, it is already mixed with clay. The pot realizes that I am only clay. So that is self-realization. Then it is realization, it is gone back. Because in the culprit, the remove the imagination that it is separate, it is not clay, it's a pot that is destroyed. As soon as that is destroyed, one is not worried whether it's I am a pot or I am a jug or I am a dia, doesn't matter. We think we are all made of the clay and we will always be clay. Mm, that is Jeevan Mukti. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, Brother Tansan. Yes, I am, Brother. If we take another example instead of clay, the electricity, we can see different kind of uh, bulbs and everything, you know, sandalier, small bulb and bigger bulbs, different shape. Those are the gunas. But when you look at each bulb, that we don't understand, and sometimes we don't understand that one electricity is the same thing for everything. Uh, so same electricity, even if you take one small bulb, same, same electricity, we don't need to go to the, where the electricity is generated. So same thing in our body, the names, forms are different, but the Atma is the same. Every, everything, the base is the Atma. Thank you, Sai Rambal. So brother, the question will be, when will the bulb become electricity? When will be the, but, but we are looking at the gunas, but. Yeah. 
don't look at the gunas is a is a is a temporary but we have to look at that one everywhere is atma is the base but uh, uh, that's what is artificial swami saying it is all is not permanent okay brother thank you Uh, when the pot is broken, uh, it's kind of, it could be liberated, it, it would go back to the natural form, that is soil, and it would be the liberation stage, or maybe in the, the upper stage, then it would have been, or in the natural state, it would be coming back. But if we take, when we die, I take our, you know, the, the, we are equivalent to the pot. When we die, it's it's kind of our body is broken, you know, the, so we go to our natural state. That's why even in Tamil, we call, we will go manodu mannaha. So we will go back to the, you know, the original uh, stage or the, the natural form. So that means that we are liberated in the state. That is no, not that necessarily. Uh, we, we we may need to take several births to to be liberated. Uh, uh, so even though we go to the very natural state, that doesn't mean that at that state we would be liberated. We may need to evolve for many births. Uh, uh, we may need to undergo many births to evolve ourselves to that state. So how we can you know, the, the, the clarify this analogy to that one? Maybe the, uh, I, am I missing something here, brother? See, uh, I think we, I think in Sandhya Nivarni, there were two types of liberation Swami mentions. One is Sadhyo Mukti, Sadhyo Mukti and Krama Mukti. I don't know whether you all remember. Revision, Sandhya Nivarni. I think we have we discussed here about Krama Mukti versus Sadhyo Mukti. Kaivalya Mukti. See, what Swami says, there can be some people attain instant liberation. Some people gradually, step by step, they progress. Mukti itself happens in stages, gradually. Um, that's what I remember. So I think the question is, sister, as, as long as soon as we, because the bodies will be born, bodies will be dying. At, realizing that we are the Atman, we, we are neither born nor we are dead, that is realization, that is liberation. So identifying with the body is the problem. That has to die. That identification with the body has to die. That's only liberation. Some people may be able to achieve it instantly or some people may, instant means quickly. Some people may have to be born again and again. But unless that effort is made to know that we are the Atman, we will never be liberated. How many ever times we are born? It's my understanding. Sister Aruna, I think, has the answer. Yeah. Sire, I'm no better. I'm just going to share my thought, just my understanding here. That's okay. Um, though, what is uh, now uh, uh, Sister Anand is bringing up is related to the body. But the question here is the state of mind, how we are realizing it, whether we are thinking of Atma or that kind of thing. So body is not the thing that is not we are, I think that's not the question from Arjun. The characteristics and all that we are perceiving is the is not related to the body. That's I just wanted to clarify. Thank, Thank you, sister. Anyone else uh, would like to comment? Maybe I I would like to clarify. Maybe I just now got the maybe while we are alive also, if we understand that we are not body mind, really, we are atma. That itself, it's it's a liberation in the day. Yes. So we don't need to die at all to get the liberation. If we so have that sort of you know, the nana wisdom, 
then we are in the, the, the while we are alive, we are liberated, you see, but no one recognized that part. But uh, uh, now, I, now I got that, you know, the, 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 I remember that uh, we discussed in the past. Yeah, we have discussed this, son, sister, because yeah. only when we are alive, we can liberate ourselves. When we are dying, we will not liberate because uh, we, we had to we had to uh, take the birth again. <laughs> yes. So when we, all our faculties are intact, when you know discrimination is at that time, we have to liberate ourselves. Okay. Um, yes, sis, Auntie Saku. Yes, this relates to Soham, Tattvamasi, yes. Angam Brahmasi. When you realize this and you do the meditation, you will understand you are not the body. You came from Brahman. You are going back to the Brahman. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I think have, but understanding yes. is the key point. We cannot do that, right? Experientially can, understand. Experientially, not... yeah. We can talk, okay, this is the way everything we can do. But... I really don't know anybody can come and tell us at that point of time, nobody will tell us that they have been reached to that level. I don't think so. But here we can discuss uh, at least to be focused, right? That's the that's the only thing that we can do, I think so. I'm just thinking. The Swami thing. has uh, given us a, a Soham meditation or uh, uh, this thing, uh, I mean, it has been recorded by Swami. He is conducting. <clears throat> but some other person told me, <laughs> told in the YouTube, that when you are saying so, you say, grow divinity within me. And when you say, hum, remove all negativity. When you say that and do the, at the beginning, you start doing it. And then you can eventually start doing so far. Yeah. I didn't hear any answers from Marge. Uh, auntie, uh, see, Auntie. Yeah. YouTube, there are many Swamis. I know, I know. So the thing I is, if we, if we spend time, the thing is, many times people are saying. I only things. follow Swami. Uh, Nobody see, else. Unless there is experientially, they have also realized they should not be giving out techniques. Ah, I, I was surprised how Baba student, one of the Baba student is giving. But uh, I then, don't believe anything other than Swami. He uh, has given a Soham meditation. Sai Ramati, you have given your answer also to the question. What? No, no. You, <laughs> Go to the source. Always go to the source. Whenever someone says, under, first ask the questions, has this person realized? There should be some qualification people should possess even before we listen to them. I think it's better we go to Swami. Yeah. Yes, explained in so many ways. We should study I and was, understand. I was thinking why he is saying this kind of thing, even though Abba has already given it to uh, Meditation tape. Sai Ramat. Sai Ramat. Any, any other thought? Any other questions? Sai Ramat. I just, I know I've asked this before, but Swami saying that um, those who see the world as the form of the Lord, you know, they can become the knower of the Vedas and those who, those who see Prapancha as Prapancha, they will not know the Vedas. So I think so we have to try to always see the Lord in, in the world. Um, is that right? That... We should be able to experience the Lord in the world, I would say. Because in, in the creation, under the, underneath the name and form, there is Asti Bhati Priya, there is divinity. Our, our, I think effort should be to try to experience that divinity which is under everything which we see. I think that is the exercise, you know, that's like, I think that's a practice is what I understand, but I will ask others to share the books. Um, but I think just one more part to the question, like, so when we see something horrible happening, and then it comes to our attention, maybe, 
unsolicited but anyways now in our mind and we're ruminating on it like um if so now I can I can kind of say okay like say one person is doing something terrible to another person the person undergoing the suffering I can kind of rationalize okay they're working out some bad karma that's why this is happening to them but the person who is the perpetrator I mean it just seems so like just negative and 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 fearful and just you know why would why would god allow that or you know uh. of, <laughs> <laughs> so just i guess how do you because in my whenever now it's something like that i come across my like i all automatically think oh like where is god or like how do i see god in this situation and, See, today only, actually we discussed it as part of the Bajavo in them, but anyway, I will again go through that. See, Swami gives the example of our teeth biting the tongue. Mm -hmm. Our tooth, our teeth bit the tongue. Now, how, will, how do you want to look at it? Do you want to get angry with the teeth? Do you want to tell the tongue you should be careful? What do you think was oh, thing sorry tongue sorry the teeth bit you they are bad people you know we are you are good what will you say but the thing is in this world these things happen time immemorial from the time creation took place it's happening and there will be predatory animals hunting and killing their prey this is happening throughout the world but the thing is, how we deal with that in the question you're asking, how do I respond or react? To this? The question is, we should not react. Because when we react, negative emotions well up in us. Uh, the emotion should not take over us. We should understand there is a higher, you know, as you said, why is Swami allowing this to happen? Because he's only allowing it to happen to the, the Nama and Rupa. Nama and Rupa, this is Sahajam. It's natural that they undergo changes and so on. But I think the whole idea is even if we force us to help the situation, if we are not in touch with our own divinity, if at all we have to channel the divinity through us, our thoughts, words and actions and response. That's all we can do. Uh, just getting uh, upset with one or other may not solve the problem. So the solution comes only from the source. So as Swami says, when the tongue and cheek, and sorry, the, when the teeth has beaten the tongue, the person realizes, oh, I should have been careful. He doesn't find blame with the tongue, nor the teeth. That after, means... After all, they are parts of our own body. Ah. <laughs> whether it is teeth or whether tongue, it's, our, it's my own tongue, it's my own teeth. <clears throat> so there should not be any distinction like that. So it's one and the same. Atman. If you have that um, vision of looking at other, that's also in the same way. Then, uh, you know, there should not be any. So so what the body does, Kalyani, it'll right away, brain will send signals, blood will flow, it'll make sure the tongue is better off. All that naturally happens in the body. So that is the way we also should act in a situation like that. So if something needs to be done, you, know, so you have to make blood flow, aid, some aid you have to give, you have to give the aid. That we can do. That is what the brain, you know, which is the Atman controlled brain will do. It will make sure everything heals, everything becomes better, everything becomes whole. But, you know, we, we cannot uh, judge and analyze and criticize uh, we, we can evaluate and analyze, but we, sh we should not create negative emotions in us. Then, then no good comes out. That's my understanding. I'll stop here. Let me Aruna, go. Aruna is brother. Yes, the base uh, one thing in uh, in where we see the other person is experiencing bad or good. That also our statement, right? How we perceive. So don't judge. Don't sir. Only thing we can do, we can pray to the Lord. 
right? At the, any time that you are a little confused, but there shouldn't be any judgment why this has happened, why that has happened, only God knows. But we can pray for others all the time to I mean, kind of in a perspective of we are in the world and we want to see all the things are good to happen, kind of in that perspective. The other thing is you are saying about the, you are experienced the, uh, the Lord, right? We had to experience the Lord kind of a few times uh, uh, you have mentioned, right? So what is exactly you meant by that experiencing Lord means? That's uh, one, um, the other part is clear. I'm just trying to, to experience the Lord. It's a question, sister. I don't know. It's posing. I think we discussed this. Sister, yeah, but we discussed. Other... Yeah, before too, in a different context. But in this context, is uh, something we are coming out of the body and talking about the. That is, I don't know. Finally, asking. <laughs> yeah, I think Swami has given answers before. If for you to experience divinity. In divinity in the world. See, actually, Buddha, we discussed the Buddha Purnima discourse a few weeks ago. Swami is telling, if you, when you want to experience divinity, how can you experience divinity when you don't know your own humanity? So yes. Swami says, everything starts with us. First, we have to find our humanity. Then from there, we will be able to find our divinity. Once we find our divinity, only then we can experience divinity in other, everywhere else. Okay. So first we have to find humanity in us. We have to overcome our own animality. We have to find the humanity. Swami, for that he says, some Christi, some you know, good side, yeah. good, all that he says. Like karma. He says, uh, good karma. Five things he says. You should listen to good things. You should see good things. You should speak good things. You should do good things. And you should think good things. If you do all this, then you find humanity. Once you find humanity and you practice it, it becomes divinity. Once it becomes divinity, then you will experience divinity in you. Once you are able to experience divinity in you, only then you will be able to experience divinity everywhere else. That experiencing divinity that you meant uh, is by a, you are not affected by anything. Right? Exactly. exactly. Okay. That is the one I try to understand. Exactly. Okay, good. You Thank be you. So much. By... Experiencing Swami... mean that means you are not affected with anything. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Swami says, whether bad or good, you should be in the same state of mind. Okay. And we have, we have, on that topic, actually, we discussed all this, I think. So that is a process to experience divinity in everything else. First, we should experience the divinity in us. For us to first experience divinity in us, we should first find humanity in us. And so that's a step-by-step -step process Swami has listed. Uh, the one thing which we all can go to is this creation is full of opposites. Swami has created the creation in such a way that, you know, there is good, there is bad, there is good, there is bad. There is opposition, opposing values, opposing uh, ideas. So, um, to bring it together and then make it in, to see oneness in that difference, unity in uh, diversity, that's what Swami says. How to that is, I think we are, we are, we, it is our responsibility to find out. Swami has been saying there is Atma everywhere, Atma everywhere. But you, as you say, first of all, let us develop that humanity in us and then divinity will come to us. Then we can recognize the divinity in others. That's the step by step how we can go. Sairam. Sairam, thank you, Aunt. So, uh, brother, ultimately, it's like that, right? Prakriti is like a, we are, we, uh, as previously we have studied, everything um, is like a, we studied like a, the fish, right? Uh, when this die also goes into the ocean, kind of. It's everything in one. Only uh, our thing is to realize that part is only, only, only thing is remain with us. Yes. Uh, everything <laughs> that, that is breaking the pot yes <laughs> thank you
you know, as you discussed, it looks like many times I feel that it's a game. Like we are in a game, somebody has created a game and we all are just trying to chase around and we know and we are just bumping each and, and then the player, the game who has designed is enjoying that. And which Swami has said, but many times I just feel it's a game, like video game. Yeah, Somebody's yeah. just controlling, right? Life is a game, play it. Yeah. Play it. <laughs> you have to keep remembering that. A20 match. <laughs> you know, my issue is, is just you you remember for a few days and you forget. And then you have to remember, oh my God, where I am? Okay, who am I? Oh, and then I forget. So I think this is the biggest struggle that how that length of remembering can increase day by day. And that's not increasing at all. So that, I think again and again, we have to remind ourselves, sister, I don't think that's yeah. what we are in every week. We come actually, we are again going back to always the same idea. Swami will say, you are not the body, you are not the mind, you are the Atman, realize it. Uh, constantly is telling us that, yes. And he's here, he's telling, Daivi Sampati will get you there. And that's how, you know, we come back to Daivi Sampati, why we should cultivate Daivi Sampati. Then Swami goes on to say what are the qualities, how you should cultivate, all that he is going to describe. So that is the process to get to that point of breaking the pot. So Can, can we go to the next paragraph? Yes. Oh. It is the pot here, the next paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's here. So Bhava and Surupa comes. Krishna, tell me what is the relationship between your Swabhava, reality or truth, and the Swarupa, Prakriti, the objective world? I have told you already that the five elements, earth, water, air, and sky, are my Swabhava, my attribute. What is this objective world except the combination of the five elements? What else can you call it? Krishna, without the five, nothing can exist in this world, is it not? Then how can I deny them? Existence is bound with them. When you accept the five elements, you have to agree to the fivefold proliferation of each element, making in all 25 tattvas or principles. Only four elements, earth, water, fire, and air, are evident and perceptible. But ether or sky is the basis for all. So too, manas, mind, buddhi, intellect, chittam, me memory, ahamkaram, ego, are all four cognized by experience. But the antakarana, inner instrument, which is their base, can only be inferred. All things of which we are aware but are manifestations of a thing of which we are unaware. They derive their strength and support from the unseen. That unseen basis of which you are unaware is I myself, the Atma. All yeah. are based on me. Yeah. Thank you, Kalyan. I think we have discussed the Swarupa and Swabhava something back also. Uh, but we will... <laughs> Again, Swami is asking to analyze it, understand it again and again, again and again. What is the relation between? Auntie, we will read the Telugu also. If... Ah, okay. Krishna, Tamasobhav Manaku Prakruti Oka Swarupanaku Galap Samanda Mami. Oh, Krishna, what is the relationship between your Swabhava? And uh, that's your nature, your real nature, and the real form of the nature, Prakriti. Prakriti. Bhava, Pancha Bhuta Malanu Badu Prithivi Jalamu Agni Vayu Akashmo Na Swabhavamu Ani Niku Idivarku Telisana Vishamegada. My brother in law, the five elements of earth, water, fire, wind, and space, they are my 
real nature swabhava this already you know prapanchamu ee panchabhutamulato cherinade anduva leke mandu this entire creation is made up of these five elements uh, what else can you say what what else can, can you say? కృష్ణ పంచభూతములే లేకున్నా ఈ ప్రపంచముని ఏ పదార్థమును నిలువ నేరుదు కదా ఓ కృష్ణ వితౌట్ దీస్ ఫైవ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ నో నో నథింగ్ విల్ బి ఏబుల్ టు సబ్సిస్ట్ అట్టితరి అవిలేవని అట్టితరి అవిలేవని నేను మాత్రం ఎట్లా చెప్పగలను సో వెన్ దట్ ఇస్ సో హౌ కెన్ ఐ సే దట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ is not so jeevitam antayo vaatitone cherinadi kada the entire life is made of made up of this or oh, they are related to this atlu angikarintu ani okokka bhutamano tirige aidu tattvamulu pratyekinchi cheri undata kuda angikarimpa valenu not only recognizing that but also recognizing that all these five elements intermingle with all the others that Correct. also needs to be recognized mm. Mm. accepted and so angikaram accept accepted accept par accept aa vidhamuga vicharinchina panchabhutamulaku 25 tattvamulu undavalanu if that is so when all the, this uh, there will be 25 principles ప్రపంచమున పృథివి జలము అగ్ని వాయు ఈ నాలుగు భూతములే గోచరముగా చున్నను ఇన్ ద క్రియేషన్ ఓన్లీ ఫోర్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఎర్త్ వాటర్ ఫైర్ అండ్ విండ్ కెన్ బి పర్సీవ్డ్ వీటికి ఆకాశము ఆధారమై ఉండుటన వల్ల ఫర్ దిస్ ద స్పేస్ ఇస్ ద సపోర్ట్ ఆ బేసిస్ బేసిస్ బుద్ధి మనసు బుద్ధి చిత్తము అహంకారములు నడి కరణ ధర్మములు నాలుగు కనిపించి చూడినప్పటికీ జస్ట్ వే ఇన్ ద సేమ్ వే నో స్వామి సే ద ఫోర్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద మైండ్ విచ్ ఇస్ మైండ్ బుద్ధి చిత్తం అండ్ అహంకార దే ఆర్ ద ద ధర్మ ఆఫ్ ద ద ఫోర్ ధర్మ అంతకరణము పైకరణములు నాలుగిటి అంటనే ఆధారం అయి ఉన్నది సో ద ఇన్నర్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్ ఇస్ the basis for all these four instruments as well okay so swami is clearly saying these four man manobuddhi chitta ankara is based on antakarna on antakarna swami is saying like uh, antakarna is like, the basis for all these four uh, as uh, just like all the four elements are uh-huh. in the space here also the four an, uh, manas buddhi chitta ankara are uh, placed on the space placed on that uh, antakarna space is a support for all the other four elements same way antakarna is a support for manasmriti chitta ankara adi kanipinchadu that cannot be seen perceived kanipinchu prati pradarthamunakunu kanipinchani oka shakti balam aadharamai undunu so for all that we see whatever is seen what there is something which support which is unseen that is what it's a power and it's a strength and it's aadharam oka shakti that's a yes, strength and that is the uh, then uh, power. power power as well as strength aithe aadheyamula endu konni marpulu kaluguchundanu but on the supported ones there is always some change Oh, sorry nan i think i left left one you jump jump i think no aunty ah jump atti aadharame nenu i am the basis i am the atman 
All those things which are supported are based on supported by me. Aite, adhey bolandu konni markulo kalupu chunda ko chundu no. In the but on the, all those which are dependent or supported, there are some changes which take place. Ah, kshina vruddu vruddu lo kalupu chunda no. So okay. they, they they either vain or wax, you know they. Vikarabulu, vikarabulu, kshina vruddu lo kalupu chunda no. I didn't. We didn't read this part yet. Oh, okay, sorry. That's all. You know, we are not. A, okay, we should stop here. I think. That's four twenty-seven also. Okay. So, so Ami has nicely explained what is antakarana. I think I, think I remember we were having some discussion when we were doing the Sunday Nivarni about one Swami used the word antakarana. So then there was some discussion among us which in the antakarana. Um, but no. here nicely Swami has explained. No, the, what we used to think was mm -hmm. Antakarana is the common name where all these four exist. Yes. That's how yes. we, we took That's it. Okay. So it's the same thing which Swami is again bringing about the inner instrument. So I'll stop here. Anyone would like to share anything based on what we have discussed here? Sorry, I'm yeah. not clear about this Antakarana. Yeah. Because, because it cannot be ex it's Swami says it cannot be perceived. Brother, twenty five tattvas principle also we have. Ah, that has that takes a long time. Yeah, that that's the one I want to look at. That's we want, we have to discuss that's it in one, the past. That's Panchi Karana. Panchi Karana. Oh, that's some Panchi. It's called Panchi Karana. The five. Permutation and combination of the five. Hmm. The, like the fire with water, fire with wind, fire with... So five oh, times that's five. So I that is... In all 25 tattvas. So five five. times five, sister. Okay. That is how it is. So that is a mathematics class. Yeah. Next next week, we, I think we should discuss it in detail. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, actually, there's on. another... For that, actually, if anyone wants, we have to look at the. I think that's another Vahini. I went into the Google to see it, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> then we are to, we are going into another Vahini sister. What is called Sutra Vahini? No, no, not Sutra Vahini. I think it's Prashnotra Vahini has that. Yeah, okay. Oh, I'll do it. Swami wrote Prashnotra Vahini in parallel with Gita Vahini. That's why it says speak volume 25 something to look at. <laughs> I wanted to go back and look at it, but I was just Googling it. We'll discuss it in, in detail. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe next week. Next week. So it's Antakarna fine. can be emotions too, right? Your sister? An mm, emotion. I don't know. Antakarna, yes, you, you cannot see. They are your inner instrument. That supports mm -hmm. your emotions, sister. Mm. That supports the emotions. Mm. I think it's 4 30. We will close, I guess. I know we have, uh, next week we will discuss Panchi Karana and Anta Karana. Mm -hmm. We'll close. Om Samasta Loka Sukhino Bhavantu. Samasta loka sukhino bhavantu. Samasta loka sukhino bhavantu. Om. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Sairam, everyone. Sairam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sairam. Thank you. Thank you, Sairam.